standard 6 mathematics chapter number 7 symmetry hello dear students today we will study the seventh chapter of mathematics and the name of this chapter is symmetry students let's do some activities to understand symmetry try this activity 1 Take a paper and fold it so that it gets divided into two equal parts and unfold it. Make a blob of color on one of the parts. Fold the paper again and press it a little. Now, unfold it. What do you see? The shape obtained is symmetrical about the line of the fold. Activity 2 Now, take a paper and a length of thread. Dip the thread in color. Place it on one side of the paper. Fold the paper over it. Keeping the folded paper pressed down, pull out the thread by one of its ends. Unfold the paper. You will see a picture. The shape on the other side of the line will be like the one on the first. The picture that is formed is said to be symmetrical. Now, students, let's polish our minds by thinking. Think about it. Do you recognize this picture? Why do you think the letters written on the front of the vehicle are written the way they are? Copy them on a paper. Hold the paper in front of a mirror and read it. Do you see letters written like this anywhere else? Let's discuss. Anil, Sudha, we can see ourselves in the mirror. That is our image. What is the difference about it? I have pinned my badge on my left, but it appears on the right in the image. My image in the mirror is as far behind in the mirror as I am in front of it. Teacher's pallu is on her left shoulder, but in the mirror it appears to be on her right shoulder. We and our images are symmetrical with reference to the mirror. Friends, let's learn what does it mean by symmetry. Let's learn. Reflectional symmetry. Write the English capital letters A, H, M in a large size on separate sheets of paper. Fold the paper so that their two parts fall exactly on each other. Mark with dots the line which makes two equal parts of the figure. This line is the axis of symmetry of the figure. If a symmetrical figure gets divided by an axis in the figure into two parts which fall exactly on each other, its symmetry is called Reflectional symmetry. Some figures have more than one axis of symmetry. The figures below are symmetrical. Now friends, let's solve the practice set 20. 1. Draw the axis of symmetry of each of the figures below. Which of them has more than one axis of symmetry? 1, 2, 3, 4. Answer. Figure number 1, 2 and 4 has more than one axis of symmetry. Now friends, let's solve the second question of practice set 20. 2. Write the capital letters of the English alphabet in your notebook. Try to draw their axis of symmetry. Which ones have an axis of symmetry? Which ones have more than one axis of symmetry? Answer. Students, you can draw alphabets in your notebook and also you can draw axis of symmetry of them. Number 1. One axis of symmetry. A, B, C, D, E, K, M, T, U, V, W, Y. Number 2. Two axis of symmetry. H, I, X. Number 3. Infinite number of axes of symmetry. O. Number 4. Remaining 10 alphabets have no axis of symmetry. Dear friends, here I have solved two questions as an example. Now you have to solve the rest of the questions. Now students, let's learn how to draw symmetrical figures on graph paper. Drawing symmetrical figures on graph paper. Observe the figure on the graph paper. The line segment AB is drawn on the left of the line L. 
the points A dash and B dash are as far on the right of L as A and B are on its left. The points A dash and B dash are the images of points A and B. The figure segment A dash B dash is the image of the segment AB. Verify by measuring the lengths of segment AB and segment A dash B dash. In the figure above, the line L divides the figure into two parts. Do these two parts fall exactly on each other? Verify. Now friends, let's solve the practice set 21. 1. Along each figure shown below, a line L has been drawn. Complete the symmetrical figures by drawing a figure on the other side such that the line L becomes the line of symmetry. Answer.